Hello and welcome to the third edition of the Level 2 Online Tips and Tricks Tutorials for Second Life. Today I'm going to be showing you, going to show you how to make a transparent alpha texture in Photoshop using a PNG format such as this one. Then I'll be showing you how to make an alpha gradient texture or an alpha blend texture in Photoshop using the Targa 32-bit format. This will be the easy way using the PNG file and the hard way and more difficult will be using the uh, Targa 32-bit file. Alright, to get started you want to load Photoshop or GIMP and go ahead and create a new image 256 by 256. Set the background to transparent. And you will always want to make sure you set it as transparent when using 32-bit or um, PNG format. And go ahead and type what you want for your uh, text. And you could add, you know, shapes or any other kind of brush patterns. Uh, let's just put a strange brush pattern in there. <clears throat> and then save that as PNG format. Call it the test. Okay, now go back into Second Life and hit Control U to upload. And here you'll see how how it'll show in Second Life with everything except for the transparent background, which is the easy way to do a uh, quick alpha layer. Now I'm going to show you the more difficult, advanced way to do a alpha blended layer. You can also do it through um, PNG format, but the old school way is to do it through target 32-bit. <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is create an image like this one to do a um, just a drop shadow. And I'll show you how to do that by using lighting effects. You want to set 256, 256 white background. <clears throat> And I'll show you this way, and then also after this, I'll show you how to do a gradient um, fade, such as a light texture. Okay, once that loads, go to Render, Filter, Render, and then Lighting Effects. You'll see the spotlight loads. Um, just want to arrange it till you get to the desired way that you want it. You want to make sure the top is set to white for the spotlight color, and the bottom is set to black for the background. Okay, and then go ahead and copy that by hitting Control A, Control C. Create a new image. You can have a white backdrop. It's a new image loads. <clears throat> you want to go to Layers tab, select the layer, go to Channels, which is the next tab. Then hit the C Create New Channel button at the bottom. It will load the alpha layer. Everything black within this alpha layer will be transparent. As you can see, it already loaded with everything black. In order to undo that, hit Control A, Shift F5, fill it with white. And then you want to hit the red, green, and blue layers so you see what you're working with. As you can see, there's nothing in this image whatsoever. So while we're in the alpha layer, we hit Control V to paste our image. Now everything that was black in the original image will show up as red, which means it's going to be transparent. So everything white will show, as you can see in this one. Anything red within the alpha layer is transparent. You can go back to the layer and view it and um, see what it looks like without the alpha layer. And once that's done, hit Control shift s to save it. You want to save it as a 32-bit Targa. Call it Fade Alpha. And then select Targa. Hit Save. Make sure you hit 32-bit, otherwise it will not be transparent. Okay. And to go back into Second Life, Upload, Fade Alpha. And as you can see, everything white will be what's shown within the image, similar to this one. Okay, now the gradient method. Go back into Photoshop. Create a new image. And you can set the background as white. Alright, now you want to go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient. And you can do a white to black. Scale it to show the darker black will be 
more transparent, the white will be opaque. So you can blend it in, say about that far. Hit OK. And go ahead and copy and paste that. I want to hit layer flat image first. Hit Control A, Control C to copy it. Now you create a new image. And this will be the final image for the alpha layer. You go into the channels tab, hit create a new channel, select the red, green, and blue, and then go ahead and paste your image into the alpha layer. As you can see, it went red to white. Anything red will be transparent. Go ahead and save that. You want to remember anything black within the alpha layer will show up red as transparent. And we'll save that as another fade test. Targa and 32 bit. And then when you go to upload that into Second Life, you'll notice how the black will be transparent. And that's how to create a fade alpha layer using Targa 32 bit and a simple PNG alpha layer um, using basic images. Okay? And I hope you found this useful. Have a great day and uh, make sure to check out Level 2 online for more tips, tricks, and tutorials for Second Life.